This is the Booze and Bullshit Show. Shit happens, and we make fun of it. So for my previous video, what I did was I had a poll on the video, and I asked you guys what videos you want to see me cover. Well, this one, one, it is, what if men got insulted like women? And would you be surprised if it's from BuzzFeed? So this is episode four of BuzzShit. I think you can just do that. You know what? It's fine. Don't trouble your handsome head about it. Well, I'm sure every woman who gets told this they may think that's the way that they uh, are trying to help, but a lot of time it's, well, standard procedure says you got to press this button and do it this and then that and this, and this. And yeah, I'm sure a guy could be kind of condescending and douchey back because, well, she's being a cunt, but it's not always this simple. Careful, you might hurt yourself there. Shouldn't you be in the garage? Like fixing cars. You know, women are typically told that when they're carrying something heavy and they're having a difficult time, it's like, shouldn't you be back in the kitchen where you belong? Or they drop something and break it, you know? That's normally when people say it. Not when the guy's just sitting there holding a pot and getting ready to cook. Like, the circumstances that they put in this are completely ridiculous to when it's actually said to women, if it is at all. Beer? <laughs> That's such a little boy drink. Ah, uh, yet another false dichotomy by BuzzFeed. So, the thing is that women's drinks are compared to little kids' drinks because, well, I mean, it looks a lot more like a little kid's drink. It's got fruit in it. It looks more like juice. It's usually weak, very low alcohol content. So don't get me wrong, they're fucking delicious. But, yeah, it's not like... It's not like you can't see why it would be considered a kid's drink. Well, you look kind of tired. Maybe you should try shaving more often. You know what? I'm sorry. I, I really do not know what this one is trying to make fun of. It's just ridiculous. Uh, shaving. What the... F like, I know they're trying to equate it to some kind of, like, female, like, grooming or something. But equating it to being tired? I, I don't know what the fuck they're going at here. So, it's, just, it's probably something stupid anyway. So... F Fuck them. You'd actually be handsome if you just put in some effort. Well, you know, I've been told this a lot of times, and it wasn't from guys, it was from women. It's, you know, if you had a six-pack abs, more women would like you because they want the complete package. Yeah, I've had a woman say she's not going to date me because I don't have six-pack abs. But I would be incredibly attractive if I did have that because I've got a really good base to start off with. So... Yeah, it happens to guys, too. I know from personal experience. So, BuzzFeed, fuck off. Your biceps are just going to sag when you get older. You should probably get a girlfriend now. Well, I mean, that's a stupid fucking thing to compare it to because biceps don't really sag when you get older unless you lose a lot of muscle mass and your skin stretched out and then you get those fucking, like, you know, saggy... I don't, I don't know. I'm not old. I don't fucking know. But the thing is... Guys aren't attracted to things that sag. And when you get older, that's what happens to your fucking, you know, that happens because it's gravity and that's what happens. But like the way that they present it there is just ridiculous. And it's not like guys who are typically saying that it's usually other women saying that to them. So to insinuate that it's men, well, and it's insinuated they're fucking directly saying it's men saying this so yeah it's fucking retarded you should smile more you'd be so much cuter yeah i've been told that hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of fucking times that i should smile more i look too stern i look too serious yeah that doesn't just happen to women it happens to guys all the time too i don't know what the fuck it is people always say it to me i try i think i'm looking happy but no apparently i'm not so yeah, it's not something that just women hear, so y fuck off. You know, you might want to cross your legs. You don't want people thinking you're easy. Okay, so who the fuck is being told this? Is it the woman just sitting there fucking spread leg? Like, hey, come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on. What the fuck? Like, yeah, if guys can see that you're not wearing underwear, you're fucking skank. Yeah, that's not sending the message that you really want to if you're tr looking to attract a mate or someone who's not going to just want to fuck you. Like, how is that a bad thing to be told? I mean, yeah, men don't get told that because 
Well, when they sit with their legs open, they're called a man spreader. And they'll get arrested for it in some cases because that's the most. Re- that's a whole other topic. That's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. So who's being told this? I don't know. If you're sitting there with your legs spread, yeah, someone's going to tell you to close your legs. Because, quite frankly, it smells like fish. I like seafood, but there's good seafood. And then there's the low tide smell. Ugh. Stop acting so driven. Women kind of find it intimidating. Yeah, once again, that's something that women tell other women who are fucking insecure about their own inadequacies because other women are being more proactive and well, more driven than them. So yeah, it's their way of tearing other women down. I don't really hear guys say that. It's a stupid fucking thing that cunts say to other cunts. No one takes the hot guy at work seriously. Well, I mean, there's many reasons for that. I mean, it could be that she wasn't qualified for the position to begin with and she just got it because of her looks. It could be that the personality trait that's attracted to really caring about your appearance, you know, their mindset is more on a appearance basis, not so much the substance. So, yeah, that could be another reason. There's so many different factors that it could be contributed to, and I'm sure every single case is a little bit different. So, you know what? It, it's a stereotype, yeah, but it's... I, I wouldn't say just because you're a hot girl at work that people don't take you seriously. When you participate in videos like this one, then... Yeah, I can see people saying, uh, I, I can't take anything she says seriously. Really? You don't have a girlfriend? Do you have, like, issues with commitment? You yeah, the reason it might be said to a woman is because, well, guys are always trying to hit on women. And all women has to do is say, yes. A guy has to go out there and talk to 100,000 billion women and get them to say yes. I think that's a lot harder. So if a woman's never been in a relationship, then, yeah, I, I can see people thinking, Hey, do you have commitment issues or something like that? Yeah, th- that's that's certainly a possibility. You can't just sleep with anyone that you see. You'll give women the wrong idea. If a woman sleeps with everyone, you're giving the wrong idea that you sleep with everyone. Isn't that um, what you're doing? So isn't it more the right idea about you? Because that's who you are. You're a fucking, you know, loose fucking skank. You know, if you're hot, like 80% of women will like you. So that's all you should really focus on. You know, I wish it was that fucking easy if all you had to do was be very attractive. I mean, yeah, that would be a lot better than, well, you have to be attractive. You got to have a good job. You got to have this. You got to have this and that. But billion different fucking things that women want in a man. You got to be tall. You got to. Yeah, there's a lot more fucking things than just being fucking hot to be attractive to a woman. So if the opposite sex valued your attractiveness higher and you were attractive well shouldn't you put your best foot forward as they say you only want one thing and it's your dick is it groomed really a girl who just wants my dick huh well i can't say i blame her and as far as grooming well that's something that she'll have to find out for herself now won't she yeah calm down you don't get so worked up about it Yes, people get worked up about things, and sometimes someone will tell them to calm down. That's not a mansplaining thing or or anything like that. It's, you are so full of shit, BuzzFeed. I just go grill me a burger. Seriously. Well, this is obviously poking fun at how men in arguments might say, just maybe a fucking sandwich. To be fair, women do make sandwiches much better than men, and I am fully able to admit that. Honey, can you make me a sandwich? I'm hungry. Thanks, sweetie. (laughs) No, I'm just fucking around. There's no one here. (laughs) There's no one here. See, this is exactly why men can't be in power. Y'all are so emotional. You'd be setting off nukes all day and fighting over chicks. You know when people say that it's typically a joke and they're not really being serious, and if they are, well, yes, they're fucking retarded. There's no reason why women can't be in politics. I just don't think feminists should because their critical thinking skills just aren't really that good. So, yeah, they don't belong making policy at 
any level. I mean, like, I wouldn't even trust them to run like a hot dog cart. It's like they probably start protesting at their own hot dog stand saying that the buns are sexist because, oh, we have to put hot dogs into buns, which represents the female's vagina and of course, the weenie is the, the man's weenie. <laughs> yeah, they're that fucking retarded. That's feminists I'm talking about. There are smart women out there. But feminists, feminazis, social justice warriors, uh, they aren't smart and they do not belong making laws about other people. Because they just want to control everyone. And they don't want to pass laws to help people. So this is the Booze and Bullshit Show. Shit happens and we make fun of it. If you like this video, you can subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment, and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Share it with anyone that you think might find it funny. Share it with someone you think might get offended, because uh, I always like to offend people who are fucking dumb cunts. If you like this shirt that I've been wearing, well, you know, you can get your very own copy by clicking on the annotation, or it's the card, that's not an annotation, but it's a card, but maybe I'll put both there to kind of make it so it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I said it right the first time, but now that I'm kind of explaining it, it sounds fucking weird, but... You can get it right over there, or you can get it in the description down below. You can check out my previous videos, like... Show friends your feminazi status. And what are some other ones I fucking did? I don't know. They'll be over, they'll, whatever, they're over here. So you'll be able to read the titles. So yeah. What are you, like, what are you doing? Fucking click on it. If you clicked off of it, if you're still watching, what the fuck? Like, click on one of my fucking other videos. Like, really, they're right there. Fucking click on them.